this isn't dessert. <laughs> I thought this hey, was the dessert. Hey, main course and dessert. Okay. Stephen Enoch checking right back into the game. It was a little bit personal, though. McMahon just took Vasilovich off the dribble with the beautiful move, so Vasilovich had to get some get back on that one. Enoch. And went from what was having a pretty much pedestrian game to now a double-double and having a great game thus far and getting it started in the second half. And that's Enoch. the second time we've seen that same play. Enoch against the double team. Works his way through the paint and oh. oh. old school. One of the two three-pointers for Louisville. And then Steven Enoch, this looks like Cliff Hagen. I know Hagen was the guards, the other team's best perimeter player, and he's matched up against Wara. As Youngstown State showed that zone defense just the one time. Again, it's Enoch. But they have no answer for Enoch. Thomas has been very active since coming off the bench, and that's one thing that we talked about with him. He is very, very aggressive inside on offense. On defense, he's just a little overmatched. Got a couple of assists. Has really been working hard on the defensive end. From right here in Louisville, Kentucky. Knocked away, Enoch. And the 19 from War, those are your top scorers for Louisville. Bohannon leads the way with 12. They come up empty on this possession. McMahon. Chance to learn, got his body a little stronger, and then he got comfortable on the court. The talent was always there, but he just got into that comfort zone, and now he is just playing as good as anybody in the country. He's in Missouri Valley Pole, so... Well within reason, but Louisville has answered all questions tonight. Second effort, Stephen Enoch cashes in the 12th second chance point tonight. Defensive rebound or offensive rebound, you're running. They worked on that drill for about 20 to 25 minutes. I think they got the cue. It's 11 of 18 for three this season. Just unconscious. Battle for the ball underneath. Into the post, spinning, hook shot, first look, where Enoch goes. Understand how to practice hard and how to prepare. But he, he's got a really high, nice pass. Enoch flushes it home. Nice. Good decision. Wow, step back for Enoch. Stem the 12 0 run for Louisville. Zenoch has looked really impressive in the post. I'm telling you, folks, not an easy place to sell. He sold my parents. I told him he recruited my parents just as hard as he recruited me. Zenoch with a right. And the number two team in the country. High low, Jordan Warren to the interior. Steven Enoch the slam. And look to play. Has the body at 6'10 to compete down low. And he's matched up with Enoch. Nice finish with the right. A rare miss from Ryan McMahon. Enoch battling. He says, I'll just go get it myself. That's what a good big man does. Left hand finish. Not everybody does the same thing. Not everybody's interested in the same thing. Jordan War is a scorer. Dwayne Sutton is perfectly engaged. Parents, turn your children away. This is only suitable for adults. Oh, oh, oh man, flex on a big fella. Rare air. In the second half, made some plays and found themselves only trailing by two possessions with 45 seconds left on the road to West Virginia. Pick and pop, Stephen Enoch, his first triple of the year. 24 unbelievable years dedicated to the city and to the team. Very on high for Enoch. Yes! What are you doing? You got your big guys stepping out. Illinois team number six and one at the time at Illinois. Jim Eight Larin to get off the shot, the block by Enoch. The six team. ten senior. You're gonna suffer a lot of L's along the way. Mm -hmm. You made the jump yourself. Yeah, I know that feeling. Oh, Enoch on time. They're not gonna be denied tonight. Tell you what, if they don't win tonight, Chris Mack, it would be their <laughs> last time that they wear those uniforms. Nice five by Perry to Stephen Enoch. Louisville gets into its offense now. It is Tony all over Wara. Doesn't get a touch, but Stephen Enoch connects. It's the three with the shot clock winding down. And now.
now Hamilton and McGowan's both come back for Pitt. In a Swim move, and then, yeah, not much there. It looked like he was just trying to get around Eric Hamilton, who was blocking him out. We'll work it inside. Darius Hicks, a transfer from NC State, turns it over. And on the fast break, Bora. The easiest basket he'll have all season. And for the turnover, Brown. A little too fancy in that sequence. Even fancy on the other side, and there's Enoch. An alley-oop on one end of the floor, and then finding Stephen Enoch for a beautiful alley -oop. Almost another bank three. I'm not sure that they tried to do it. This young man right here. Stephen Enoch, when he catches the basketball, right hand, left hand, it does not matter. These guys, uh, a lot of these guys have already, you know, played back before we even played a game, and so they're really excited about what we got going on here. But that's the most important thing is signing day next Wednesday. And going to Kentucky and Indiana and in places in the in the region. And Darius Perry, I believe, scores 28 points in that game. And Stephen Enoch finishes off another alley -oop from a beautiful five from Ryan McMahon. The year with Chris Mack as this team continues and his program continues to develop. You know, he's the one guy that Mack has been able to rely on 35 minutes against Texas Tech. Perimeter shooting, a little suspect now when you look at Louisville. Perry and Kimball are not great perimeter shooters. Nice pass, though. Terrific pass, Wayne Sutton down low.